Every day, people rely on air cargo to get food, medicine, and other essential supplies as quickly as possible from one place to the next. But not everyone can afford to get things fast, especially in the developing world. You know, airplanes are amazing because of how they can fly direct A to B, but they're limited by the fact that they're expensive. But what if air cargo didn't need airplanes or an airport? How might that expand access to things like emergency supplies or same-day shipping? Logistics is really the lifeblood of civilization. And so our mission is to enable same-day shipping to every person on the planet. That led us to make a very different kind of aircraft than anyone has ever built before. A cool thing is not the same thing as a good product. We needed to make the business model work. By lowering the cost of air cargo, that allows us to achieve this mission of making same-day shipping available to everyone, everywhere. You just started your dream business. How much profit would you need to pay your basic living expenses like rent and ramen? This is a show on the economics of entrepreneurship and founders turning their dreams into reality. This is Ramen Profitable. So how exactly does an aerospace company become profitable? We'll get to that. But first, meet Dave. I started with a background in computer science and grew up really enthusiastic to learn how to build things and making new things. And the way that I got into this field was by working in it first. I was part of a small drone company where I was a contributor on the team and I learned, you know, what was the state of the art, what the future looked like, and that started to percolate ideas for what could come next. Dave took those ideas, and with his co-founder Clint, started Elroy Air, a scrappy new aerospace company made up of engineers, designers, computer scientists, and leaders from places like Northrop Grumman and Uber. I love entrepreneurship because you can disrupt what exists, do it in a sustainable way, talk with people who are also dreaming, and then put together a team that's really, really fun to be around. For years, Dave's team grinded away at their mission, which required solving a technology problem alongside a business problem. In order to upgrade Express Logistics all over the world, we needed to develop a lower cost form of air cargo that not only was cheaper than existing airplanes, but had more capabilities. After years of development, Elroy Air's first aircraft began to take shape. They call it the Chaparral. It's an autonomous aerial cargo system that can carry 300 to 500 pounds of cargo over 300 miles. So every time we would bring this out to the um, to the flying area, mm -hmm. and Shane would arm the vehicle, and then he would, while the vehicle's armed and hot, would put this on, <laughs> screw it on, and then just like kind of run away. <laughs> <laughs> they still have a long road before they revolutionize the way we ship goods. But their first major hurdle, getting this massive aircraft to actually fly. A big aerospace company trying to do what we did would probably have 50 to 100 people on the project. And when we built and flew Chaparral for the first time, we had 16 full-time people on the Elroy Air team. We were scrappy, we did it on a small budget, and that's scary. So when the day came for the first flight, I was racing down to the airport where we did our flight test. The minute those rotors started to spin, just felt my whole body anticipating what was gonna come next. And when I saw that aircraft go up into the air and fly in a way that was stable, hang out there for about 30 seconds, and then come back down and gently rest on the ground, it, it was one of the best feelings of my life. And then it was all hugs and high fives on the team. It was just an amazing triumphant moment for all of us. After that campaign was done, we got to work. We've been heads down building the next generation aircraft and pushing it toward a state where we can build it, fly it, prove that it works, and then get it into service with customers. But how does a business like this become profitable? First, they need to be able to compete with alternative forms of air cargo. In the long run, our goal is to make sure that the Chaparral aircraft is lower cost to operate than other air cargo options and can approach that cost of trucking. And we do this by getting to higher and higher levels of scale, which means that we can get bulk discounts on all the components that make up the aircraft. So they're gonna make a lot of them, but that still won't be cheap enough. 
So how else do they get the cost down? The other way is that we can allow a single pilot to operate a bigger and bigger fleet of these systems, where a single pilot can control a fleet of 10 and then a fleet of 50 aircraft. You know, that gets us to a profitability point, not this year, not next year, but several years out, we see the company turning cash flow positive. Elroy Air is one of a number of startups in a new wave of aviation technology, making things like flying cars, flying taxis, and autonomous flight a reality. Breakthrough is being made possible today by entrepreneurs like Dave. For someone who's thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, the one piece of advice I'd give is go talk to people who have done it before. This knowledge isn't something you're born with. You get it by doing and you get it by talking to people. In the end, the thing that you gain by being an entrepreneur is a real self-directed ability to push something that you believe needs to exist in the world and share it with everybody else. That's a beautiful feeling. <laughs>